So what is bone wood? Well, just as an animal might die or be killed, and its flesh decays away or is eaten, and all that remains is the bones, and they're very easily seen on the forest floor. The same is true with parts of plants. With some trees, especially trees that have a lot of pitch in them, the plant dies and decays away, and what's left is what I call the skeletal remains of the plant. The hard, dried out portions that often contain pitch. This is what I call bone wood. Sometimes it's simply branches that are sun dried to the point where they do not decay very easily. This is something I often see in the pitch pine forest and it's these. These are pine knots. For most people, probably just something neat to look at, but for me, they're a resource. This is a nice piece of fuel and it also has a hidden tinder inside. Now, the reason they're there is because many years ago, and I would probably say many, many years ago, a pine tree fell here. And what happens is as the tree decays, it leaves behind the wood that has pitch in it that petrifies. You can see, there's a good piece of it. Now the pitch inside the pine tree is what preserves the wood and allows it time to petrify and it gets so hard that it's very resistant to rot. Nearly everywhere I go I find those peculiar looking pine knots. So there are several types of what I call bone wood, both resinous and non-resinous, that skeletal structure of plants, particularly trees that remain on the forest floor and actually look like bones laying in the forest floor. So uh, they do form a part of my bushcraft. Some of my bushcraft skills revolve around not only actual bones but bone wood, hence the name Bonewood Bushcraft. And of course uh, if you're the ghost it's only fitting to have Bonewood Bushcraft. So stay tuned, there's lots to come.